Jackson! Hey there! So, as I've mentioned countless times at this point, I absolutely adore Ace Attorney. There's so many things to love about these games. The back and forth court battles, the bizarre world, and the crazy yet somehow lovable characters. But it turns out that a few of these characters took inspiration from somewhere you really wouldn't expect. Gay romance manga, or yaoi. I know, it's pretty unexpected, right? But I promise you, it only gets stranger from there. And so today, let me tell you the story of how Ace Attorney took inspiration from gay romance manga. The year was 2001, and a small team of seven developers at Capcom were finishing up work on a little game called Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now, it had been a battle to get this game out the door. Developers were leaving mid-development, and Capcom even tried cancelling the project. But throughout this process, the game's director, a man by the name of Shu Takumi, had persevered and managed to keep his dream alive. And now, upon the game's long-awaited release, he was being paid dividends. Just seeing the overwhelmingly positive response to his team's game, it was so much more than he could have hoped for. And it wasn't only director Takumi with a grin on his face. The game's producer, an elusive man by the name of Atsushi Inaba, well, he was pleased as punch. After seeing the game's unexpectedly high sales figures, Inaba managed to have not one, but two sequels approved by Capcom. It seems like this whole Ace Attorney thing was going places. But while Inaba was in negotiations with Capcom's decision makers, the rest of the team were busy doing something else, searching for their game online. Now, I think everyone has done this at some point, googled their name to see what unholy picture comes up. But this was the early internet. Google Images launched maybe two months before all of this, so the developers were searching somewhere else early internet forums, message boards. These were the bread and butter of the internet back then, and the developers knew that if people were talking about Ace Attorney, this was the place they'd be doing it. And so, not knowing exactly what to expect, Shu Takumi and his motley crew gingerly entered the name of their game and hit the search button. And, well, they were pretty surprised by what they found, to say the least. That's right, the team were greeted by pages and pages of fans shipping their characters together and drawing fan manga, or doujinshi, of these relationships. In particular, the two main characters, defense attorney Phoenix Wright and prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. The developers couldn't believe their eyes. This was not what they had expected to find. There seemed to be this huge, unexpected audience of BL-loving Ace Attorney fans. Now, if you didn't know, BL is a genre of manga and anime, short for boys love, or yaoi. It's targeted at women and features relationships between two gay dudes. It's a massive genre over in Japan, and Asia in general. In Japan, you'll find BL anime, in South Korea, there's BL webcomics, and in Thailand, there's hundreds of BL dramas produced every year. This genre is no joke. And so, when the Ace Attorney team saw that these BL fans had gone out and bought Ace Attorney in waves, they knew this was something they had to take advantage of. And director Shu Takumi had a plan. A plan that involved these BL fans and the sequel that his team were about to develop. In amongst the typical lawyering gameplay, they'd add in a few subtle BL themes to both the character designs and the story, too. Hopefully this way, the BL fans would go out and buy this sequel, too. But what kind of things did these fans even like? Hmm, it was a dilemma. But it was at this moment that the game's producer, Atsushi Inaba, stepped in and put a stop to things. You see, the development team for Ace Attorney was almost entirely made up of men, straight men. There was only one woman, the game's character designer, Kumiko Suekane, and except for her, the team was made up of entirely dudes. And so, producer Inaba was concerned that if these developers tried to add in some so-called BL moments, they'd end up getting it all wrong and putting off the very fans that they hoped to attract. The first game had done just fine without any ham-fisted yaoi content, so why change that for the sequel? And as much as he didn't want to admit it, Takumi knew that Inaba's reasoning made sense. And so he and the rest of the team agreed to drop this plan they had. They would develop the game as normal, minus the BL. Or at least, 
That's what they told Inaba. Behind the scenes, they weren't really planning on stopping. They would secretly work in a few BL elements without telling their producer. And they had the perfect guide. Remember I mentioned Kumiko Suikane, the only woman on the team. Well, it happened that she was a huge fan of BL herself. And after finishing work on Ace Attorney, she would even pen a few BL stories of her own. She would be the perfect judge. And so with that in place, the team were ready to start bringing their BL plans into effect. They had two little touches in mind. First off, the plot. You see, this sequel would introduce a new prosecutor for the player to fight by the name of Franziska von Karma. For most of the game, she would be your opponent in court, whipping her way to victory. But at the very end, your former rival Miles Edgeworth would stage his triumphant return. And when writing this moment, Takumi tried to imagine what would appeal to a BL fan. He focused on the warm relationship between the two, the close bonds between them, and the trust they had for one another. Yes, Takumi thought, this must be what the fans were looking for. All right, so that was the first of the two plans the team had. The other was in the character designs. And for these, designer Tatsuro Iwamoto went even further, much further. He went out and bought an entire stack of BL manga and read through them meticulously, trying to figure out what kind of characters readers would expect to see. And later, when he was asked to design the character of a world famous magician, Iwamoto knew this was his time to shine. His character would be tall, slender and muscular, his shirt barely covering his exposed body and on his legs, a pair of super tight low rise jeans. All of these elements were specifically picked out from the stack of manga that Iwamoto had read, and he hoped that they would make BL fans fall in love with this magician character. But Iwamoto didn't stop there. For the third Ace Attorney game, he was asked to design a meek defendant accused of theft. And again, Iwamoto took reference from his manga stack, this time going for a younger, more innocent look. Big eyes, a round face, curly hair, all of this was inspired by the BL. And so, in October 2002, Ace Attorney Justice For All was released in Japan for the Game Boy Advance. Now, sales figures for this game are scant. Capcom like to hold their cards close to their chest, understandably. But one can assume, just looking at the number of Ace Attorney games there have been up until today, that Justice For All must have been a success. Capcom went ahead with their plans of approving the third game, and then later, a fourth, a fifth, and even a sixth. And while I'm sure it was only a tiny proportion, perhaps that was in a little way thanks to the touches that Iwamoto and Takumi put in to target the BL fans they had seen discussing the first game. But what about the judge, Kumiko Suikane? Well, by this point she had left Capcom to work on other projects, but she took a look at Takumi's efforts nonetheless. And in response to his so-called BL interactions between Edgeworth and Phoenix, well, she had four words to say. This is all wrong. And that concludes the story of how Ace Attorney took inspiration from gay romance manga. Yeah, I didn't say it was successful. <laughs> anyway, for more lost chapters from the history books of gaming, be sure to subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter too for more from me, plus share this video with someone else if you think they'd be interested. And I'll see you next time. Bye.